Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be looking at a new game called Above Snakes. Piece by piece, create your own world and survive in this Wild West inspired survival RPG. Craft, farm, hunt, build your base, and fight in order to stay alive. Well, sounds pretty good to me. Uh, this is coming out on Steam. May 25th, and thank you to the developers for sending me a key. And here we are in our little house, and it shows... Oh, I guess there's controller support. It shows all the, like, the little controller thingies, which is cool. Um, we need to walk around. I need to pick stuff up. Oh, something's going on outside. Okay. Are you awake? Okay, well, let's grab our backpack. And you see the little, like, star glowy things? That's where I'm going to. And let's grab this book. Uh, folks can... Folks that can read might pay a decent price for it. And we've also got some coins. There we go. And let's come on out the door. Oh, scary. And you know what? Honestly, rain thunderstorms don't scare me at all. I love them. All right, so it's Q and E to rotate the camera. It's nice. And it's not like a, it's not like a smooth rotation. It's like still set camera angles, which is, um, you know, if their camera angles are good, I have no problem with it. Let's talk to this person. Oh my, uh, s uh, sniffles and weeps. Uh, what are we gonna do? The horror that came over us. Uh, ask if she's okay. I know, but first things, are you okay? I'm not hurt, I guess I'm okay. Her voice cracks, my house, my beautiful, yeah, I guess I can understand that. As a person who's looking for, to move and looking to buy a new house, I could, could you imagine? Like, that's, I don't think there's any homeowner's insurance in this world either. All right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and the whole town will look at me, bawling my eyes out while these people lost their lives. The whole thing is such a mess. Um, how can I help? Uh, yep, town ruins, blah, blah, blah. We need to rebuild. I need to get some logs. Ask her if she has an axe. I don't think she does. No, nope, can't find an axe. I'm going to have to make my own axe. All right, cool. Okay, so... What we need to do is we need to help out. We need to get some stuff to gather an axe. Gather branches from trees. Okay. Simple enough. All right. I'm going to grab some more because why not? Wait, can you just keep gathering stuff? Oh, I got feathers the second time. All right. The pine tree is out of materials. All right. So I'm pressing tab to open up this stuff. There's all my resources, consumables, equipment, building, miscellaneous. All right. We're going to go right here and we are going to craft ourselves an axe. Ask me a question. Now, does it want me to chop down the trees? Yes, it does. Okay. Equip my axe. Got it. Chop down a tree. Well, I'm going to chop down the one I just uh, I just took all the sticks off of. Oh, look at me chopping all fancy. Look at the spin move. I got freaking sick, sick tricks, bro. Okay. Craft a primitive pickaxe. All right. I could do that. And right there. Oh, what is that? Oh, a hammer. Stop. Hammer time. All right, equip the pickaxe. Let's go. Oh, there's something up here. All right, I can sprint if you hold down shift, so that's good. We're going to go ahead and gather some rocks. I got a critical strike. I don't know why there's a zero over there. I must be hitting something else that's not for the pickaxe. More crits, dude. Look at that. I'm a crit machine. All right, now we need to talk to her again. Uh, time to get started. Wouldn't you say the sawmill uh, was only was only set up to saw lumber? Plus, it's unusable. Okay, I'm not gonna. Yep, yep. I'm not gonna read all this. I thought I didn't think the reading would be so much, but just give me the quest. Craft the hammer. See how how easy was that? Well, not that easy because I don't have plant fibers. Um. Oh, I can make flint. Do you need flint for this? No. So I won't make flint. Okay. How do you get plant fibers then? It's gotta be the. These little trees right here now. Do I have to do this? Is that plant fibers? Yep, that's plant fibers. It's kind of weird it didn't tell me to get plant fibers. Maybe she did. I did skip a lot of her dialogue. <laughs> but it's weird that I didn't get a quest to get uh, plant fibers. All right, whatever. It doesn't really matter. The plant fibers mystery has been solved. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a hammer. Oh, a workbench. All right, adjusting structures with the hammer. Use the hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or ones you built yourself. You will get back some of the resources. Okay. Take take down her house. Okay, I could do that. All right, take down. T 
Take it down. Okay. That doesn't seem like a lot of lumber I got back, but okay. What now? Craft a workbench. All right. What's the green stuff? Hold on. Hold on. What is this stuff? Is that like the meteors that fell? Doesn't seem like I could do anything with it. All right. So we need to craft a workbench. Kind of weird. I don't have a workbench in my own house, but you know, it is what it is. And there we go. Now set up the workbench. Four. Uh, I guess that's a good spot for it. All right, to interact with the workbench. With your workbench, you can craft building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources, and both useful decorative furniture. I like decorative furniture, by the way. That means a lot to me in a survival game. I know it doesn't seem like it's that important, but it kind of is to some people. Upgrading a workbench enables additional crafting recipes but requires certain materials. Got it. Craft at least four foundations at the workbench. Okay, so we're gonna need some more lumber. Now, would it make sense to get sticks from these trees before I knock them down? I mean, it doesn't It doesn't take that much time. I'm, gonna, I'm sure I'm gonna need the branches for something else. I wonder if like, all the searching I'm doing, um, I wonder if you, when you chop down the tree, you get that stuff automatically. I'm gonna chop down one of these trees without searching it and see if I get a bunch of branches and stuff. By the way, I am getting level ups. Um, oh yeah, look at this. Dude, I think this game's gonna be really good. Um, I heard about I've heard about this game for a long time, uh, you know, and um, I've been waiting for it to come out. To be perfectly honest, was, it, was there a demo on it? I think there might have been a demo on it. I might have missed that, but yeah, I've been looking at this game for a long time, and, it, and I mean, you know, I've only been playing it for a couple minutes, but it seems pretty freaking dope. All right, you don't get the branches, so if you want the branches, you gotta strip the tree uh, before you chop it down, which you know. I mean, it doesn't take that much time, so I think it's probably worth it. Also, I think you can left click. No, you can't. So in order to search it, you have to uh, you have to use the, the um, F key. Some things that you say the F key, like crafting, you don't have to use the F key. You can like just left click. But yeah, this one seems pretty good. I love that spin move, man. This woman's a badass. Badass. All right. So. What was it? I think it was one lumber for a foundation. So let's go and start working on foundations now. One. Oh, hold on. Oh, maybe I do have to press F. Wait, it's not doing anything. Wait, it's green. One lumber craft item. Oh, I see. What I was looking at the wrong thing. All right. One. Two. Three. And four. Bum, 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 bum. Build a home, build a new home with walls and roofs. Okay, so let's do that. Let's put this down. Can we raise it, adjust height? Yes, we can. But I don't think we should bother with that. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter provides. The more shelter provides, the more perks uh, it will unlock and give bonuses. Okay, that's freaking cool. So now you're now you're not just building a house like just whatever. You, you, your house matters. The way you build it matters. How well you build it matters. That's freaking cool. See stuff like that. You know that's the kind of stuff we need. You know new stuff for these survival games. All right, so we need some walls. Um, two, four, six, eight. We're gonna need eight. we're gonna need eight walls, but we're gonna need a doorway and a window. And I'm gonna have to grab some more some more uh planks or lumber man it doesn't seem like there's a lot of trees around here it's a very small area so i'm not sure <laughs> i wonder if i could delete this for more lumber is this something I it doesn't tell me to delete it i'm not going to delete it well i guess i don't have to worry about it there's uh well maybe i do have to worry about it i just picked up a bunch of lumber from that lumber thing uh in all that I, I don't know for sure but in the dialogue i skipped she might have told me to yeah go over there and grab that lumber you know so that that's you know, like a skipping dialogue, I just get, I get impatient. I just, I want to just play the game. But if you skip dialogue, you're going to miss stuff like that. And it's just something, you, you know, people like me have to deal with, you know, um, it is what it is. A lot of times I'll just read the dialogue off camera. And honestly, I would, I'll probably read that dialogue eventually anyway, but we can pick all this up, which is cool. It doesn't, the thing is, it doesn't look like lumber. Look at the lumber in the top right hand side. It's a full log. I'm not getting full logs from this stuff. So that kind of threw me for a little bit of a me for a little bit of a loop because these are like these are like chop pieces they're not like full pieces so that's okay though we'll get it done 
All right, can I go inside here? Is there anything inside? Mm, I guess not. Oh, there's a dead guy. That's not good. That's not good. So let's come on over here, and I'm going to make her one door and three windows and the rest walls. One door. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, look at my shelter. Look at my, my shelter's garbage. It's like it's got a zero with like the bars not even anywhere near the top. Okay. Um, did I get that stuff in my inventory? Yes, I did. Okay, so I have one door. Let's just place this. Let's just place this stuff down now. Four. I'm not doing anything fancy with your house. Uh, rotate. Are they the same? I think they're the same on both sides, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, I think I think the inside and the outside looks the same. So there's your door. All right, you got a nice little door. You're welcome. We'll put one of the windows right here. So we're going to need one, two, three more windows. <clears throat> Let's just do the windows first. One, two, three. And then we'll just go place this. And we'll put one here, one here, and one here. So now we're going to need three walls. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, log roof flat. We're giving her a flat roof. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll give her a real roof. I don't know. She's probably not going to be happy with a flat roof, but free labor, you get what you get. <clears throat> Just be glad I'm doing it free for nothing. Look at this. Her house is already... Wait. My house looks better now? How did my shelter get better? All right, whatever. Let's, let's try and stay focused here. Oops. There. Wait, did I only make two, or...? I thought I made three. Maybe I didn't wait long enough for the third. Just got to hold the button down, so maybe I left before it was done. There we go. Alrighty, now we just need a roof for you. And I guess four roof pieces, four sloped roof pieces should be good. These roof pieces do look like there's the slope, and then there's the part on the other side of the slope. And normally you have to build, like, walls for that, but it looks like these roofs come with already built slopes. So... I'm gonna kind of put it down and see how that see how that works out. Yeah, it does. See, it comes with. Uh, yeah, that's nice. See, like this part right here. Normally, you'd have to fill that in, but this this game. I think all games should come with that kind of stuff. Just make it, just make it simple. Like, you know, we don't need to be getting crazy with this stuff. Although there's probably like big like crazy builders out there that. Just want to, like, love the freedom because then they could do different... See, that shelter number's going up. I'm not sure what shelter that is. It must be her shelter. Because if I come over to this shelter... Wait, so this shelter's the same? All right, I'm not sure what that shelter thing means. Maybe maybe this one doesn't count. Maybe it was always this one, and I thought it was this one because I was closer, but this is a pre-made, so it probably doesn't count. And her shelter is getting better as I'm building it. I think that's the idea. It's... There, and there, and there. Oh, fatigue, huh? Okay. So is this shelter now, since I built this, where's the little shelter icon, though? I don't know what I have to do to get that to come up. Oh, well, whatever. Wow, it looks great. There's something else that requires immediate attention. I just realized that a person lying over there is still breathing. Boy, maybe we should have taken care of that before I was building you a house. He inhaled the smoke of the meteorites last night and fainted. Uh, later, some debris seemed to have wounded him. Found him this morning. I checked on him. It was certain he was not breathing anymore. Uh, but maybe there's still hope for him. Boy, you're an awful, awful person. Uh, do you know what to do? Uh, tell her that you know how to help. Tell her that you never provided medical care. All right, bandages. Okay, thank you. I mean, the quest will probably tell me what to do anyway. All right, so I need to find bandages. Oh, sprinting. All right, yep, use a stamina, got it. So, higher workbench required for the shelter. All right, so I think that shelter's level one. All right, how do we get these bandages, man? Like, uh, maybe in here? Can I go in here? Yep, so now I can go in here. <clears throat> All right. So it's like kind of like a locked off bandages. It's kind of like a locked off setup. Like you can't go places until it's time to go to those places. At least in this part of the game. They're trying to keep it simple for you. Ugh, keep pressing escape. Um, I don't need to talk to him. Ooh, deck of cards. I like that. Um, help. Use the bandage. 
There you go. You're welcome. No thanks to that lady, man. She's like, oh, this guy is it's too late for him. Build me a house. Oh, no. He turned into one of those things. Oh, that's not good. Be careful. They are extremely aggressive. Oh, boy. I'm kissing him. Uh, do they like to make out? Um, encounters. Space to perform dodge. Performing dodge roll will help you during fights. These, uh, these lands are full of danger, especially at nighttime. I love it when stuff is more dangerous at nighttime, by the way. That's another big, that's another big thumbs up for survival games. Uh, <clears throat> be careful. Got it. All right. So I guess I use my ax to fight him. Heal the wounded per- wait, still he heal the wounded person? That can't be right. I'll heal him. I'll heal him with my ax. Oops. So when do I fight the snakes? <laughs> this game's called Above Snakes. <laughs> I figured I'd be fighting snakes and stuff. There's too many mother effing snakes in this mother effing game. All right, let's talk to her again. Poor guy, I think people who handle the smoke and meteorites turn into those monsters. Uh, mon monster set? Whatever. Um, it's so horrible. You look pale, you're okay. Tell her you're okay. I'm okay, just a little hungry. She has some food around uh, the surroundings hunt. We should have some food around. The surroundings of hunters rest always have bushes and berries. Why don't you use this map to search for some berries and snacks? Hands over the map. Okay, so one cool thing about this game is you notice I'm only in this one square area. I think there's other ways to open up the other areas, more square areas, and then that's how you kind of uh, explore the land, which I'm kind of excited about. Doesn't seem to be happening right now. Oh, here we go. Creating world pieces. This is exactly what I was talking about. See to create world pieces. The world of above snakes consists of world pieces. Each piece has its own biome and contains various resources. Some world pieces are unique, while others uh, can appear multiple times. This is cool. Okay. Pl uh, place a plains world piece. All right. Moderate climate. Okay. And oh, it seems like a pretty good spot for it. Dude, that's dope. I like that. I like that. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, what was that one mobile game I used to play? I don't remember. It was like a military fighter zombie, like, military game. It was pretty cool. All right. I'll be a huckleberry. Scouting. To create more world pieces, you need to scout your surroundings first. Your scouting progress is shown at the bottom of the screen. Note that you can stack up to, up, sorry. Note that you can stack up scouting to three world pieces, but scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold. Interesting. Okay. So let's get some more, um, eat some berries. Okay. Number five. Um, oh, did I poison myself and die or what? Why'd that go black? Return to Joanne. Okay. Oh, I have a map now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Very nice. And there's my scouting thing. Scouting progress um, increases by performing actions in the world and allows you... Okay, so just by running around and, I guess, maybe getting berries. Does that work on... Yep. Okay. So harvesting the resources. Let's see if cutting down a tree... Let's see if getting pine tr stuff off the pine tree... Yep. Yep. So basically harvesting the resources seems to be the best way to get the... All right, let's chop down a tree just for the lulls. Okay, man, I'm I, I'm liking this game a little bit more than I thought I was going to. Uh, I'm getting pretty excited about it. I really like that building worlds mechanic. That's another new thing. Like that's I don't know games that do. I know there's games that have done that in the past, but I don't think many of them. And I don't think there's any that I've played that have done it. There's that one game I don't remember the name of it, and I don't even know how to explain it. But uh, there was a one game where you're like playing on rocks and stuff, and you could like open up different parts of the map, but. It seemed pretty underdeveloped. Where are my... Here, let's get some more... Let's get some more things. I'm gonna get another, uh, another area to open up. There we go. Cool. A new world piece is ready. So where are my stats? Oh, here are my stats. Okay. So it looks like there is thirst. Okay. And there is hunger and there is sanity. Interesting. And then you have to sleep, I guess. All right, let's go talk to Joanne. Um, hold on. Where'd she go? I am deeply sorry I had to leave all of a sudden. The frontier 
sent a carriage to pick up survivors. The least I, uh, the least I could do is to leave the cabin for you. You built it after all. So basically this lady's like, build me a cabin. You know, the guy's dying. And then I built the cabin. She's like, oh, something better came along. See you later. <laughs> you can have your cabin. Um, they said the plague began spreading from Corpse Creek. Wow, that's a that's a great name. Uh, they reported meteorites falling down. They're horrible. Some people survived, but most of them fled. Uh, if you talk to them, maybe that will bring some light into the dark. Okay. There must be people who survived the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard that there's camp nearby. Get in from information about what happened. I need to go there. Okay. Um, Hunter's Rest is left behind. Hunter's... Make it your own. Hunter's Rest is left behind by all the survivors. Is Hunter's Rest like the name of this town or something? Um, the remaining houses offer valuable resources for survival. Use the hammer to take down the remaining two buildings. Wait. The remaining two buildings? So, you want me to take down the building I started in? Okay. Alright. So, this is where I'm supposed to build a base, huh? Okay. Um, fair enough. That's not going to be a big enough house, though. Okay, so, um, map. Oh, yeah, this is, okay, so that is Hunter's Rest. All right, so find the survivor's camp. So how do I do that? Do I, like, is there a direction I'm supposed to place stuff down in? Like, um, I don't see any way, I don't see any way to, like, find out where I got to go to get to the, the survivor's camp. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start building up here. And seeing what I can get done in this area. The first thing I want to do is clear out everything. I'm not sure how to clear this stuff out. Maybe I got to delete this. I'm not sure to get this like smoking pile of rubble out of there. And um, before I get rid of that house, let's go in there and make sure there's nothing else to loot. Um, because I think I did see something in here. Yeah, this book. Take book. I also found a couple books while I was looking around off camera. Oh, hold on. Okay, I don't see anything else in here that looks obvious. Oh, hold on. Got some food. <clears throat> All right. Let's get rid of this. Take down. All right, cool. It got rid of the small. It got rid of all the crap. Good, good, good. That is very good. All right, let's take the... Wait, did I loot everything in here? Um, First of all, can I move this? I don't... I think I can move it. Yeah, you could just you could just remove it. All right, I'm gonna take down this house, but before I do that, I'd like to obviously go inside and see if I've looted everything. Oh, you can warm up your hands. Cool. Inspect. Uh, I was really cramped in here with everyone sleeping in this room last night. You know, maybe I shouldn't take this down until I have a like a bed in my next base. Uh, rest. Only rest when you're tired. Inspect. Can't take that. Alright, so let's put a bed in here. And I'm I'm wondering if I want to like make this place like my permanent house or I don't know. I don't know. For now, let's just put down a bed. So can we make a bed? I don't know. Let's take a look. Uh no. Apparently we can't. Well, do we need the workbench to make a bed? All right, let's check out the workbench. Uh, yes, there we go. Hey, bed. All right, cool. Let's make that. Uh, let's also make the campfire. And this might be useful to write or draw. Interesting. Um, a log step. Okay, fair enough. Shelter level one. Fortification, whetstone. Okay. All right, so that's like you can make better stuff when you get your shelter to be higher quality. Now, I'm not sure what I want to do with this shelter. I, I think I'm going to use this shelter as like a, um, I don't know, like an outpost. And I think I'm going to make a proper shelter probably out in, in this area. I think that would be pretty cool. Another thing I'd like to do is put down a planes right, right there for more resources. All right, so let's go ahead and put that in the bed. Rotate. Oh. All right, cool. It does lock into place when it rotates. I appreciate that. And can the campfire be inside? Doesn't look like it. All right, let's put that right there. All right, so now that we have a bed, we can properly take down this, this building. So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
And... You're gone. You don't seem to get a lot of stuff for taking down buildings. Like, did I really just get two lumber for that? Congratulations on making your first uh, shelter. You can keep it and use it for your survival. Take it down and build it um, up anywhere else. That is completely up to you. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Or take it down and build it up anywhere else. He can't just like pick it up though, right? All right, uh, build a cartography work table in the workbench. Okay, let's see what we need for that. Cartography table. Uh, ink, okay. Let's make some ink. And let's make a cartography table. I don't know if there's any like downside to build to like leaving this stuff outside. By the way, um, remember how I said I like the camera being like set in a position? I don't anymore. I wish you could like kind of, you know, do it the way you want to do it. But all right, this seems like something that should be inside. Okay, check out their cartography table. Uh, use it to research a new world piece. Oh, oh, oh Plains Pine Forest. Oh, awesome. All right. So um, during your journey, you will come across different biomes. You can place these biomes anywhere you want on the map, but you need to make sure to create transitions between them. The biome on the edge of each world piece needs to match up the surrounding world pieces. Think about uh, when placing a new world. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, can I place anything else? I'm pressing C and I can't. It was C, right? I believe it was C. Let me do some more mining and um, unlock, you know, another, like, biome thing. Because I think that'd be pretty cool. And kind of see how that works. Go ahead and place a Plains to Pine Forest World Piece. Okay. Uh, Plains to Pine Forest. Okay. Um, That seems pretty good right there. Oh, does that mean the Pines... Wait, Um, to expand your... To expand my shelter, I should search nearby forest for more resources. Uh, research and place a pine forest. Wait, didn't I already do that? No, a pine forest. Never mind. That's so the pine forest to plains like a connection. And I think because I put it where I put it, I think I have to put the pine forest down here. I should have put it where the pine forest is going to be up there, but that's okay. Let's see what we need to research the next piece. All right, we got that. No big deal. All right, and now we need just to just uh, gather some resources. And I guess um, I'm not really getting that hungry. So I, I'll leave the berries. You know, I don't know if stuff spoils in this game. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it does. But I'm going to leave the berries alone and only pick them when I have to. I don't see any reason to... I don't know if there's um seasons in this game. That's one thing I, I don't know about. So that could cause some issues, but... I think we will be okay. It has become dusk. That means that the night is close. If you are not willing to fight all kinds of dangers in the wild, you should return to your shelter or build one. It is also wise to have light source and enough logs to fuel it um, before the night falls. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. So set up, light the campfire. Okay, I've done that. There we go. Uh, fuel. I don't know how, like, it doesn't... Hmm, I... I have no idea. By the way, I got hurt. A tree fell on my head, <laughs> so that was fun. I have no idea how much fuel is actually in this thing. It looks like it's going down pretty quick, though. Uh, maybe we can cook something. Can we cook berries? Oh, interesting. Okay. Tea to cook. Delicious and nutritious meal. We put a can we put a couple of them up here? There we go. Oh, new recipe. Huckleberry something. I didn't see it. Oh, hold on. Can we put both of those in? Cooked meal. Okay. Yeah, this isn't gonna last throughout the night. <laughs> like this thing. Can I sleep? I should be able to sleep throughout the night. Alright, so I got a bunch of food down there. Um Let's see what we got here. Can we, can we like, look at it? Um, equipment, bill, and miscellaneous consumables. Here we go. Oh, that's not very good. Oh, that one's good. That one's good, too. All right. So I wonder what the blueberries themselves were giving. Okay. 
Um, I guess I should keep this on. Fuel. Am I putting lumber in it or not? I'm... Oh, you have to hold down the button. Okay, that's what it was. All right, I was going to say. I'm like, I'm, I'm hitting the button. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Research. Okay, so maybe I... Can I sleep now? Rest. Needs, um, night or tired. <sighs> <sighs> Hopefully I'll get woken up. Oh, there we go. Cool. That worked. I'm really hungry, though. Uh, let's do number eight. Number eight. Number nine. Number nine. Man, it sounded like a lot of food, but <laughs> apparently it wasn't. All right, let's uh, go ahead and place the pine forest now. Uh, C. Pine forest. So you see I can't put it here. Oh, look at that. It actually shows the green lines where you can place it. Oh, that's freaking dope. All right, I really like that. I really like that a lot. Uh, new build. Oh, so we got new building stuff now. Um, if I upgrade my workbench, I'll be able to find more. I'll be able to uh, build more complex things. Every workbench requires. Okay, got it. What do I need to upgrade it? Beeswax. Okay, I did see some bees over here. Although I prefer not to get hurt. Upgrade. Okay, so I guess I just gotta deal with these bees. Will that give me the beeswax? No? That's just branches. Can I... I guess I have to chop down the tree, huh? This is going to end poorly for me. I'm pretty sure. But... Oh, boy. Oh, get away from me. Did I get anything for it? I don't know. Um. Oh, we need to find a lake to drink water. Wait, a lake? I don't have any lakes. Okay, so we gotta search for water. Maybe I should leave the bees alone. I really don't wanna leave the bees alone. All right, let's take a look at the map again. I think it's, um, I don't remember how to look at the map. Oh, it's four, okay. Yeah, okay, so how the heck am I supposed to get lakes? Is it in like a certain biome or find a lake? I don't know, <laughs> okay. Not really helped me out with that, but there we go, all right. Maybe there's some kind of thing in the cartography table I could find a lake with. F. What? Why can't I interact with the... Something... This is weird. Cartography... I'm hitting F. Uh, I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. Well, this is the map. This is the map. There's no lakes. So, can I go off the map? I don't think I can. So, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do now. So I can now get into the cartography table after I got another map piece. And by the way, check it out. I can unlock the survivor's camp, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to unlock the plains slash lake. There we go. And now I should be able to put down a lake piece. Let's get out of here. There we go. Moderate climate, lake. And can I rotate him? Yep. No. Okay, so it's got to go like this. But why is it red? Plain. So it's got to be on a plane. That's why. Yeah, there we go. Why can't it go here? Because that's... Oh, because this tile is a mixture. That's why. All right, that makes sense. Honestly, the best place would be right here. There we go. And now we'll have a lake right behind our house. We can go drink. And... Oh, it looks like it's getting dark again. All right. Um. So how do I drink? Scoop water. Cool. Um, ooh, fishing rod. Okay. Uh, this doesn't seem to be doing anything to my water. Oh, I collected it. Oh, I probably have to, um, I probably have to cook it because it's like I'm collecting dirty water. Cool. Let's go ahead and light this and cook. I cook them all together. Uh, apparently I can. New recipe discovered. Water. Drink. Oh, look at that, man. That was like almost all the water I needed. By the way, I got more um, huckleberries and made more huckleberry bowls, which is awesome. And I could sell that too, which is pretty interesting. Um, guys, I think I am going to call this one here. This game. Wow. I'm really, really excited for this game. If you guys are too, let me know in the comments and, uh, you know, make sure you share and like the video. Uncage that like button. As I like to say, 
Also, if you're new here, maybe subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Mm -hmm.